Hey, it's Nick. Here's everything you need to get started on the app box. Start by plugging in the power cord, followed by the USB. Switch the power on. Plug the USB into your laptop, ensuring your laptop is in a secure position. Before you can print, you need to complete a few simple steps. Initiate the printer. You can do this by either selecting the Initiate Printer button in App Studio or by pressing and holding the Initiate button on the side of the printer for a few seconds. This will home the X, Y and Z axis. Once this is complete, you will need to auto level the bed. Before leveling the bed, you need to ensure the nozzle is clear of any debris. Select the calibrate tab and then auto level. A micro switch automatically extends from the print head. This measures nine points across the bed. It takes some time, so be patient. After this is complete, the nozzle presses a switch at the back of the print bed, which calibrates the nozzle height. Here is a good example of why you need to clear the nozzle of debris, as this nozzle height will be set incorrectly because there is leftover plastic on the tip. Lastly, you will be asked to select which bed you are using. Click the Maintenance tab and select what type of plastic you are using. There are a number of presets to choose from, or you may make a custom one. After your material is selected, click Extrude. The printer will start to heat up. While it's heating, cut the bulge off the end of the filament using wire cutters, as this causes jams. Feed the filament into the feeder tube located inside the spool holder. Keep feeding the filament in until it comes out the other end of the feeder tube. When the printhead is hot, you will hear a beep. Then insert the filament into the extruder. Ensure the filament is being drawn into the head, then push the feeder tube into place. The extruder will continue to extrude for a set amount of time. You may choose to stop it if you would like. If the filament does not come out of the hot end, it means your filament has jammed and you will have to remove it and try again. To remove or change filaments, select Withdraw. Again, the print head will heat up. While it's heating, pull the feeder tube out of the print head to expose the filament. When hot, the printer will beep. At this point, guide the filament out. Do not pull on it. The extruder gear will do the work. When you are happy with your print settings and are ready to print, go to the Print tab and click Print. App Studio will then slice your part and send the G-code to the printer. Your print will start. Make sure you monitor the first few layers of the print to ensure they are sticking correctly to the bed. You can unplug your laptop any time after the print has started. Come back and check on your print regularly. When the print is finished, allow the bed to cool. Remove with a scraper by gently tapping around your part. Do not try to pull the print off. You will only succeed in damaging the printer.